I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test papers on probability distribution. So now we'll take up question number six in this particular video. The question here is, if random variable x which follows a binomial distribution where n is the number of trials and the probability of success is 0 0.6 and the value of p less than 1, the probability for random value variable x less than 1 is given to you as 0 0.0256, determine the value of n. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question and look into my suggestions. Now in this question, we have to apply the formula directly. We are given the case of a random variable x which follows binomial distribution, right? So this b is for binomial distribution. And n is the number of trials, right? So n is the total number of times when the event can occur, right? So, so it, this is the number of times the event can occur. And in this case, 0 0.6 is the probability of success. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me write like this. Probability of success. That is P equals to 0 0.6. So if P is 0 0.6, we know probability of failure will be 1 minus 0 0.6, which is 0 0.4. Anyway, the question is, we are given that in this particular case, for the random variable x, where the binomial distribution is given to us with probability of success 0 0.1, and then we are saying that the probability for less than 1 is 0 0.0256. It means what? Less than 1 means that x can have value of 0, right? So that is to say the probability for x equals to 0 is actually equals to 0 0.0256, right? Is that correct? Now, in case of binomial distribution, what is the probability for the random variable x to be equal to 0? That's what you need to figure out, right? So we know this is nc0. Success is p. So we can write p to the power of 0 times q to the power of n, right? And that should be equal to 0. 0.0256. Is that correct? Now both these values are 1. Q is 0 0.4. So we have 0 0.4 to the power of n as equals to 0 0.0256. Now to find the value of n, what we can do? At this stage, you can take log and then do it. Or you can kind of do trial and error. You can write 0 0.0256 as a power of 0.4. So that is another option, right? So you know 4 times 4 is 16. So you can try this as 0.4 to the power of 4 equals to what? So in decimals, it is 0 to 0 0.0256, right? So the right-hand side could be written as 0 0.4 to the power of 4, right? And comparing, we get n equals to 4. So this is one way of solving this equation, right? Let me show you an alternate method also. Since, you know, this was simpler, you got this answer by trial and error, kind of, right? So, so that, that is okay. But at times, you may not get that kind of a figure. But remember, this n is an integer, it's a, it's a number, positive number. And therefore, this works. So you can always trial and error. Now, if you have this equation 0 0.4 to the power of n equals to 0 0.0256, general method to solve is to take log both sides. Then we get n log 0 0.4 equals to log of 0 0.0256. 
and you can find the value of n as ratio of log 0 0.0256 divided by log of 0 0.4 so that could also give you the answer so let, let's do it like that also right so we have log of 0 0.0256 divided by log of 0.4 which is also equal to 4 right so that was alternate way of finding the same answer right so both are correct ways of doing it i hope these steps are very clear i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best